All right, so I'm going to leave the plane on there because it took, I was like very specific. Oh, let's see if I can take it off, uh, put it on and put it off. Probably not a smart move, but let's try. Okay, so this is my uh, idea so far about what I'm calling air assets and how to use them back and forth. Uh, a lot of it obviously is abstracted. I'm not going to get into the combat. I want to abstract or put the combat or any of that stuff into the expenditure of the air assets. Uh, that's the way I'm looking at it. Um, and the way I'm looking at it, if, he, uh, if somebody wants to up it, uh, like up the ante, keeps going back and forth, back and forth. For example, let's, well, I'll play it out. And I think this also uh, potentially... Um, uh, is going to be good for uh, doing something in a sense of almost like air superiority. If somebody wants to expend or, uh, you know, store up so many air assets in a certain area, well, then they're going to have air superiority for a while. And, you know, it'll be, in a way, getting bled dry if the other side, you know, look, man, I'm just, uh, <laughs> this is early days, but I'm happy. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this guy because he's got, uh, actually, I uh, found a bit of glare. This is for last night. I'm trying to, this is the first course, uh, fourth course, right? Um, so anyways, here we go. So I went and looked up, uh, and I'm going to pop the link in because that bloody website is just incredible. It's the military factory. So I went and found out what airplanes were uh, the Russians were using around this time, 1914. A good one that they most likely were using, and I could see it being... I'll go take a look at some other sites that I have uh, to confirm. But pretty darn sure that they had the Avro... Well, they did have the Avro 504 back then. And um, so there we go. So I'm going to pretend that, and then I went and took a look at this, uh, the stats for the Avro 504, which I could do, and anybody can do, about practically any freaking military object, it seems, is go to the military factory thing. So I found out that the range, uh, that's really all I really wanted to know. I will tell you, though, that the major one of the major roles for the Avro 504 was uh, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, which they call ISR or a scout, uh, sur uh, survey ground targets and target areas to assess environmental threat levels, enemy strength or enemy movement. Now, their range was 400 kilometers. So, round trip, that's 200. Now, and let's, uh, and then uh, uh, each hex in Der Velkrieg is 20, 20 kilometers. So that's 10 hexes round trip. So let's factor in uh, N, uh, everything not being perfect. And it seems like this rule system really enjoys um, the number eight and the number four. So let's, let's bring it down to eight hexes. So let's say at this point in time, and like I said, maybe later on when you get better airplanes, if that side wants to start putting uh, expenditure in some kind of technology ladder or whatever towards that, uh, towards that thing to get better airplanes, so then go for it. And you also have to um, get the, those air assets, uh, because I don't want to just specifically also say, um, uh, maybe it's a little bit about air, you know, um, air balloons and so on and so forth, but let's, like I said, just one step at a time here, man. Um, so here we go. You're going to have your air, air assets. You have to get them to the front. And the other thing is air assets. These, anytime, uh, let's say I wanted to use one, let's say an aerial, uh, wanted to use an aerial asset point. Um, um, it could be on any HQ. And uh, that's that. And that's where the hexes would count from. So uh, I'm gonna, the Russians are going to decide to pick this hex. So now it starts making, a, a, uh, what I'm enjoying as well, is it starts making uh, the positioning of uh, core HQs and, and those such things a bit more important again. And I like it. I like it a lot. And it means on the flip side, uh, I can maybe uh, position hexes and maybe the other player isn't cluing in. And I can uh, pop some... And uh, you know what I'm saying? I, in, in other words, what I like to I would like to figure out is get to a certain point with certain rule systems or whatever, and uh, get to a, a, a level of simplicity. Even though here I am adding crap, is uh, I'll let the players figure out their own strategies and so on and so forth. Don't keep locking people into whatever. Okay, let's see if I can do this. This is like a what am I on pot three? Yeah, I'm on pot. So it's not too bad today. I'm only on the third pot. Um, it's just because, oh, I got, okay, hold on, 
Moving you there, it should help. Oh, darn it. I lost a thing. Okay, so here we go. So now let's pretend, and I don't know how many points, and like I said, maybe it's going to be, it's up the ante. So it doesn't matter. I'm just, I should just not lean on the table. So here we go. So then I would just count out eight hexes, and any anybody in those eight hexes, I could say, you know what, uh, Germany, you have to reveal the strength points for those. So it would be uh, one, two, three. If you want to go all the way out here, it's your problem. It would just be a straight line. Um, and like I said, just calm down. It will add complex complexity finds a way. It's like water. It'll just find a way. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, I could go look here. One, two, three, or actually I'd like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So these guys, uh, the Germans, I'd have to say, the Russian player would say, you know what? You have to reveal all the strength points. And then the German player would say, you know what? I'm not because I'm going to expend one of my points to interfere with your reconnaissance. And I can because I've also got a core HQ that's within range. Maybe I've got better planes and I've got a range of 10. Who the heck knows? Um, and then uh, the Russian on the flip side could say, oh yeah, I want to really spend a heck of a lot. I'm not, uh, what I'm saying is I don't know yet, but I like the way this is going. I, I really do. That's it. All right, that's it. Yet again. Okay. The chink. Bye.